So I just wanted to demonstrate to you the typical sort of thing that you might find on a steel beam before it's sprayed with intumescent. Here we have a job that's in progress. Those beams over there have been completed. Here we have the next beam to be painted. The guys are off site today. But uh, we have all kinds of um, rust staining across the top toe of the top flange here. That's loose. We've got uh, little bits of uh, lime residue from the concrete there. We've got uh, a dodgy uh, primer repair there. We've got lots of concrete. We've got nuts and bolts. <laughs> We've got grease staining. We've got more rust staining, some overspray from next door here. We've got some filings here which are quite loose. Okay, all kinds of contamination over here are very similar. More concrete staining here or concrete loose residue on the surface. Look how loose that is. Okay, and more of this rust staining. The rust staining is coming from the top flange there because it's unpainted on the top flange, but if you can see that, it's an unpainted top flange. It's all left rusty on purpose to uh, make it easier for the stud welders to stud to because it's not easy to weld through primed steel. So the point is, this is, this is loose. It should be solvent white or wire brushed or both because the fact that it's loose means that if you spray intumescent right on top of that uh, you're going to get uh, not very good adhesion for motion so when the intumescent is not adhering to the steel properly it can be more susceptible to the ingress of moisture which is going to lead to moisture breakdown in the event of a fire actually is the most important point is that um, if the intumescent is not correctly adhered to the steel, there's no guarantee, uh, in fact there's a high likelihood that the intumescent will fall off anything where there's poor adhesion. So right the way along this top toe here, right the way along the toes on both flanges here, you're going to get poor adhesion and uh, potential moisture ingress and in the event of a fire, probable detachment of these areas leading to a, what we call a hot spot in the in the fire uh, and a, so essentially a weak spot a weak link in the, the fire protection of this uh, steel so this has to be cleaned down before the intumescent invariably unfortunately it's not it's, it's like some quality contractors will clean this down some won't as you can see this has been done even on the other side of this beam it's actually already complete your guess is as good as mine whether or not they cleaned it down or not I'm not here to check that today but uh, I just wanted to point out there's a little bit more thought needed before spraying an intermescent paint on the steel so this is this should be allowed for in the pre-start meeting in the spec um, and the contractor should be allowed a fair sum in order to clean this off prior to the application to promote good adhesion.